So, let me guess, you want to be an optometrist? I mean, that's probably why you're watching this video, right? If you're interested in how to become an optometrist and what the steps are to get there, I'll be sharing that in this video. So before I get started, I wanted to introduce myself and give you guys a little bit of background on me. My name is Dr. Jennifer and I am a practicing optometrist in New York City. I'm the founder of a Cold Star modernized vision and wellness practice called Line of Sight. And I'm also the founder of Carrot Eyewear, which is a blue light filtering computer eyewear line sold online. So this is part one of three series for how to become an optometrist. This is for those of you who are high school students, undergrad, looking to go into optometry school after graduating, or those of you who are just trying to figure out if optometry is the right career path for you. So for starters, to become an optometrist, it takes about eight to 10 years, and that includes four years of undergrad, four years of optometry school, one year of optional residency, and one year of optional fellowship. In your fourth year of optometry school, you will be going through different clinical rotations that allows you to have experience. And afterwards, you'll be taking your board's exams during school, your last year. So let's get into the classes that you'll need in order to apply for optometry school. So these are the general prerequisites that are required with lab. You'll need one year of general chemistry, one year of general biology, one year of organic chemistry, one year of math, preferably calculus, one year of English, and one year of physics. So these all need to be taken aside from math and English with lab. There are some classes that are recommended and not required. However, I would say if you want to boost up your GPA in science, I would definitely recommend the following courses. Microbiology, human anatomy and human physiology, speech, which is important when you deliver patient care, as well as other classes that are focused on genetics and psychology classes that are related to human uh, anatomy and developmental growth. Okay, so let's jump right into the first question that I get, which is, do you need to be a science major in order to apply for optometry school? Well, I can biology and minored in biology, and I did that because it was what I was passionate about. I strongly recommend that you major in what you're interested in because you still are required to take the prerequisites for the science classes that you need. Now, I can explain and tell you why it might make you a diverse and um, strong candidate for optometry school if you have a different major. It definitely makes you unique, unique and stand out because you will be asked this question during your interviews why you chose to major um, in your subject. And it also makes you a more unique optometrist when you graduate because you have a different skill set that you can bring to the table. So I'll give you some examples. So if you majored in business, for example, it would help because if you graduate with a business degree and you studied for optometry, you can create and build your own practice and understand finances. If you decide to be an art major but went to optometry school, uh, that would also make you a great candidate because you have uh, aesthetic eye for design and you might end up creating your own eyewear line. Okay, the second question I get is, what GPA do I need to get into optometry school? I remember this really worried me when I was at UVA because I was worried that my score was not competitive enough. I think I graduated with a 3.5 and um, as you know, any medical field is really competitive to get into graduate school. I would say to be a competitive uh, applicant, you should have at least a 3.3 to 3.4 and above. And I would make sure that at least if your grades are between a 3.3 to 3.5 to have a really, really strong OAT score and other extracurriculars. And um, if you have a 3.5 and above, that's even better. But don't be discouraged if your GPA is not above a 3.5, you are still a great candidate. You just have to focus on making sure that your specific science prerequisite courses GPAs are um, really high because that does help with your application. And the admission boards does wanna see that you're able to handle demanding classes that you'll be taking in optometry school. So doing well in the science courses is really important, making sure that you take extra science courses to boost up your science GPA if that's the case. 
Okay, let's talk about the third most common question, which is extracurriculars. What exactly is the most important and uh, what do I need to do to be a strong candidate? So I guess I would focus on the following things and I would start with shadowing experience or work experience. And the reason why I say that is because if you were putting yourself in the shoes of the admission boards, they'd want to see that this is something that you are strongly passionate about and that you are pretty sure about. And one way to show that is you've been shadowing for a while or you've been working in the field, which means you actually put yourself in, this, in the situation to work in optometry and that this is something you are truly passionate about. So I would spend at least some time, at least once a week, shadowing at a Tantri office by your local undergrad and spend your summers considering working if you can at optometry practices. That's what I did. At least my four years in optometry, sorry, my four years in undergrad, I spent the summers working as a optometric technician doing refractions and uh, pre-testing for optometry practices. And during um, the academic years, I actually spent one day out of the week shadowing um, different optometry offices. And the second thing I would recommend is considering volunteering. Volunteering is great in general because if you plan to become a doctor, you want to show that you are empathetic and caring and part of that is putting others before you. And volunteering is a great way to show that. You can choose to volunteer in different uh, programs. I did some at infant care homes as well as the hospital. And anything that involves human interaction and patient care is a great way to help with your application. Guys, that was the end of my first video about how to become an optometrist. If you enjoyed what you watch, please hit subscribe below and I'll be sharing more content with you guys. And if you guys are interested in the application process, how to be a strong candidate and secrets and tips, then watch the next video and I'll share that with you guys.